Hello there, I am Giant Gold with more Pokemon Diamond, with more of my Pokemon Diamond Redux. In the last part, we started Adventure, um, well, we started Adventure in the last, last part, but, um, we, in the last part, we caught, uh, we received, officially, uh, Chimchar from, um, Professor Owen and nicknamed, um, him Inferno. But now we're on Route 2 or 3, we have to talk to our mom, saying we're gonna be on Adventure, we have to defer to Sam's parcel for him, which he's in Joe Vio City probably by now. But yeah, here's Dawn. Oh, that's right. Steven, I haven't shown you how to catch your Pokemon. I, I, I'll demonstrate how to catch your one. So, I'll demonstrate how to catch one. So, just watch me, okay? Yeah, this is your, this is your, um, tutorial that's always, you know, in Pokemon games for the two of you who do not know how to catch your Pokemon. Especially if this is like your first Pokemon game ever being played, so it's just there for the newbies and the rookies. I'm a Pokemon veteran though, so I'll just sit back and watch. She has a Shared Wig, level 5 female, against this Bidoof level 2, and it used Tackle on Bidoof, and Tackle and Bidoof used Tackle back, and its HP is down. I, I'd use Tackle one more time, but she's gonna go for the Pokeball right now, and there we go, from, and she's gonna go from there. Yeah. She has to click every little button and every little decision very slowly though. Let's see if she catches this thing though. Bidoof. One, two, three. And she caught it. She caught a Bidoof. That she never uses throughout the game. At least when we battle with her. But that's that I guess. Giggle isn't, see isn't it neat? Actually, uh, it's better to be low. To lower your target's HP more than I did, of course, yeah. It's important to get the Pokemon's HP low as low as possible. This is because healthy Pokemon, a healthy Pokemon, is very difficult to catch. Oh, your Pokemon also get easier to catch uh, if you make them sleep or something by using Pokemon, a Pokemon's move. Okay, Steven, I get you. I'll get you started. Okay, Steven, to get you started, I'll give you five Pokeballs. So now I have a total of six Pokeballs right now, because five plus the one I have remaining from the last part. Because I used one on BD for myself, and I caught BD for as an HM slave. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I skipped over some more of a dialogue. Sorry, Dawn. Plus, it will be... Oh, my phone having more Pokemon along. So she says, like, hey, you should have more Pokemon. You should catch as many Pokemon as you can, so you can have protection and stuff. And I gotta go, and I just passed the last part of the dialogue. Yeah, um, I'm gonna show off my Bidoof summary, or Becky, I guess. Just an HM slave, the adamant nature, spicy food, like spicy food, simple as its ability, it's prone to wild stat changes. The only knows tackle. It's gonna be an HM slave, but just to give it, you know, some glory time. Now, I'm not gonna be catching my first official member, uh, until, um, Later on, like it's gonna be a, it's gonna be another party too before we get to that Pokemon. Just saying, if you wanna like, if you wanna hint on my first party Pokemon, that's gonna be a fish, my first official party Pokemon. There you go, the hint's right there. Just scratch on the Shinx. Now Shinx is a good electric type, I recommend it, but Shinx is so overused. I think I either use Shinx or Luxray eventually, and either Diamond or Platinum. Which I can't remember which one I actually used it, but I'm pretty sure I used. It looks right and either diamond or platinum. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. And I think Shink only, Shink's only knows tackle when it's in the wild. At this level at least. So it's gonna just tackle you. Hopefully I can, go, I can get a critical hit or something. Okay, yeah. This Shink needs to faint. Because I don't want to take any more damage. I don't want Inferno to take any more damage. So yeah, this is what I was talking about with trying to be at least level 6 by now, because your first tra trainer battle will be coming up, and in this game, it's not your rival. It's actually just a youngster dude. Your first trainer battle, let's go. Trainer Pokemon give you more experience, and trainer, if you win against a trainer, they give you Poké Dollars too, which is prize money. You're a Pokemon trainer, I, I happen to be a Pokemon trainer. I always meant so, we mu so battle we must. So this guy has a level 5 Starly, at least in Diamond and Pearl, I'm pretty sure he has a level 5 Starly in Platinum too. So, yeah, Starly, level 5, it'll, I think it'll know like Tackle and Sand Attack or Growl, or Tackle and Growl, or maybe not Sand Attack, maybe it might have Sand Attack. So, 
You want to be level 6 to have the t level advantage at least. So, yeah. Let's see how much this is going to do. 4 HPGs. I'm going to have to use a potion. Uh, not Grail. Well, I guess Grail is better than Tackle in this case, but still. The battle system... Oh, it has Quick Attack. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm going to heal after this turn. But yeah, the battle system in Pokemon Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum is so slow. A lot of people complain about that, but like... It's it's honestly slow, but... And I'm... It's really irritating, but um... It's just something I have to deal with, I guess. Potion. This is what it looks like when you use an item on your Pokemon. It kind of turns uh, green and you glow a little bit, which is kind of cool, I guess. It's gonna lower my attack some more, or Inferno's attack. I always refer to my, whenever my Pokemon is affected, I refer it to myself, which I shouldn't do that. I should have, I should have referred to Inferno, cause that's the Pokemon, and that's, that's the, um, you know, the target that's being affected. Not me. There goes that quick attack again. Hopefully this scratch can faint it. Oh my gosh. One more scratch, better do it. Okay, good, I was outsped at that time. Yeah. That was a long battle. I might have to speed up trainer battles again, which I don't really want to do if I'm... Um... Well, Wayne Denver, cool. If I'm... Um... But the battle system is just so slow. I mean, I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm still deciding if I want to tr speed up training battles like I used to, like back in the early 2010s when I did that. Yeah, I, so I didn't read what you said. So this girl is a last, and she has two Bidoofs. I think she has two Bidoofs in Platinum. She does definitely has two Bidoofs in, you know, um, Diamond and Pearl. I want to just skip her dialogue just so we could go straight to the battle. So sorry if you had something cool to say. Now that I have Ember though, I have a move that has same type attack bonus. And same type attack bonus means if you're- f Okay, so Chimchar is a fire type, and Ember is a fire type move as you see right here. Well, that means it gets like a extra one and a half times effectiveness, just for being the same type as your Pokemon. Just for the move being the same type as your Pokemon, which is really nice. So, hopefully this Ember can like knock it out, or I can two-shot this thing. Yeah, I can two-shot this thing, cool. Because it did at least half its HP. But sometimes when you knock out half of its HP and use the same move, it doesn't always do exactly half or as much as you need to, to knock it out. So keep that in mind. But there I, there I two-shot it right there, so that's nice. Okay. And she has another Bidoof. Yeah, stay in. Oh my gosh, the battle system. Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining about that because I'm sorry. I'm gonna feel it's getting annoying at this point, so I apologize for that. So, I'll just continue on with the battle. Let's just take out this Bidoof. One more ambush should do it. Tackle, miss. Awesome, nice. So, that's good. Here we go. Level 8, nice. Oh boy, I can't win. Yeah, thanks for the 48 poke dollars. Or 48 cents, as you could say. I'm gonna probably run into- Yeah, I was probably gonna run into a Pokemon. That's like a big area of grass. Here's a Bidoof again. This one's level 3. Male. Okay. Yeah. If I can just Ember this, that'd be good. I got critical hit. Nice. And I think from now on, if I get into a wild Pokemon battle that I don't, and it's a Pokemon I don't want to catch, I don't want to catch, yeah, and I'm just gonna usually just fight it for the experience or just run away, I'm gonna cut those battles out. So, um, yeah. Back to that old editing trick where I can just edit out wild battles if I need to and if they're not important to me. I guess none of the youngster did though. I think that's level five. Level five Shinx. Let's battle. Let's have a Pokemon battle. Hmm. I'm going, but I'm going to win. Going to win or going? Or I don't know if she's. I think he said going. So we'll go with going. Shinx is level five. In platinum, this guy will have a Burmy, which is pretty cool, I guess. Something different in platinum, I guess. But this is Diamond slash Pearl. Amber attack.
Taco miss. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. Level 9 for Inferno. Nice. And learn Taunt. That, oh, if you, if you, if you chose Chimchar and you, you, you get your Chimchar to level 9 and when it's Taunt, that's actually a really good move for catching Abra if you want an Abra on your team. I'm not gonna use Abra on my team though because I don't plan on it. And I couldn't get to evolve into Alakazam without trading. I am using an emulator so I couldn't, you know, um, I don't know how to hook up the trade thing if, uh, if I knew how even to do that, so I'll skip out on that one. But yeah, it's a really good way to catch an Abra if you want it on your team. Here's a Starly. I'm not gonna use a Starly this time around. I know in Pokemon Diamond, my original walk to guide, uh, I um, used one, and it made a really good Pokemon. But I'm using a different flying type this time around. I won't spoil what it is though. But you guys can guess all you want if you want. But if you like guess in the comments, then I'm. And if you um, if you guess in the comments, I probably just won't respond. Just so I don't spoil it for you guys, because I don't want to spoil it and I don't want to give it away right now, because it's way too. Um, it's just not the time. So I hope you guys understand. This style will go down though. Critical hit, awesome. Okay, here's a paralysis seal. I was guessing that's a paralysis seal. It's a potion, actually, so I was wrong. I was, guess I was guessing my paralysis seal. Of course, they ran another web Pokemon battle. Yeah, I noticed I've been talking through these wild Pokemon battles, and I just starting after this battle, I'll start editing out wild encounters that are. Uh, Random and that if it's a po in it, that Pokemon I don't want to catch, so I just random counters. So after this wild Pokemon battle, I'll start actually doing that because I realized I was still talking through the wild Pokemon battles. I don't want my you know commentary to be cut off with editing that little piece out with the wild battle. So starting after this wild Pokemon battle, that'll take effect then. So I guess we can go from there. I'm still getting used to this old style of editing too. Like I haven't been able, I haven't had to like edit um like one of these Pokemon games in a while. To be honest, yeah. I think last time was Pokemon Emerald or something. So he has a prowess heal, it's just to hit an item. But yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the part right here. So this has been Giant Griddle. This has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond uh, Redux Walk the Guide part. The next part, we'll take on uh, Jewel Boy of City, which is, you can hear the music, so it's coming up. So this has been Giant Griddle again. I would like to thank you again, goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walkthrough Guide.